What's happening, everybody? Welcome to Amke Podcast. Man, today is my first day. I'm using Riverside Dots uh, FM. It's very good software for podcaster, interviewers, and all those kind of digital visual that you're trying to do, like except for designs and uh, uh, the other thing. So today, um, actually been uh, watching this uh, guy on my. Uh, TikTok and he was having a powerful message about relationship. If you are not really ready to be in a relationship, please don't be in a relationship because I can li- I could even seen some comments here like people are talking about comments um which is it's kind of wild. So his message is really clear, it's very deep and uh it's profound. I will let you hear it so you can see like what happening. There we go. Quick question. Are you qualified to be in that long-term healthy relationship that you say you want so much? What do I mean by that? How's your communication skills? Do you communicate or do you shut down? And when you do communicate, do, are you aggressive? Are you passive aggressive? Are Man, you passive? Are this you- is, is actually, it's something that we need to, we need to learn and we need to understand like communication is the key of our relationship, but communicating in it properly is a greatest key of our relationship. So when we're talking about communication, it's not like a, we communicate things like clearly in a transparent way. And that's what the most uh, of the things are killing us in a relationship. I mean, express your feeling, express your thoughts, and express yourself. Do not just thinking about something and think that it's going to be the way you are while you are not expressing it. So he was right. Communication, are you passive? Are you aggressive? Uh, I mean, I mean, do you reserve yourself or you communicate in a proper way? So I don't know about you, but most people... Uh, like that like they don't communicate properly they're expecting people to do what they are not communicating that they are not expressing and then it's causing the problem and then you fight in your relationship and then boom it's called to a breakout it's dangerous like are you a good listener can you listen and understand what the person is trying to say this instead of is listening hectic. to respond? are you a good listener man I can be honest with you. Personally, I used to be a person who used to chat back so much. Like, every time a person is talking, it's kind of like I'm trying to process the thing in my mind. And I think that I already understand what a person is about to say. And I'm jumping directly to conclusion. And then at the end of the day, I found myself that I was right. I, I was wrong. I wasn't right. Mm, and then that used to cause me a lot of problem. I didn't realize that that was a problem. But as we grow, we learn every single day. And I understood that, wait, I was mistaken. I should not listen to respond, but I can. I should listen to understand. So what type of person are you? Do you listen to understand or do you listen to respond? Let me know, let me know in a comment below. Yeah, let's go. Do you have the ability to compromise or do you have to have it your way all the time? How about your ability to forgive or do you hold grudges? Have you dealt with your past relationship trauma? Or are you still holding grudges from six, seven relationships ago that you're bringing into your current relationship? Speaking of trauma, have you dealt with your childhood trauma? Do you hate all men because your dad was was, was messed up or do you hate all women? It's hey man, <laughs> it's it's uh, uh. Let me let me let me replay this. Uh, what did he say here? How about your ability to forgive? Um, are you a good listener? So we were here. So let me let me play there. Good listener, can you listen and understand what the person is trying to say instead of listening to respond? Do you have the ability to compromise or do you have to have it your way all men, the time? Us men, like male, they like to impose things in their household, in their relationship. 
um, it's not really a good thing. What you should have done the best is to consider everybody's opinions, everybody's suggestion. I remember Dale Carnegie once said, the only way to empower someone is to congratulating them and to show them value. If you do not want to share or showing value to your partner, how do you empower them? You cannot empower someone by neglecting them or by do not consider them. Consideration is the key in a relationship. Do not just take anything your way. If you see you have a better way, keep asking for the opinion. And then you take a conclusion. Don't just be like, it's me, it's me. No, that's ego. And ego in a relationship doesn't really work. Believe me. Let me know in a comment below what kind of way do you utilize to, to get along with your partner or to get a solution with your partner. Let me know in a comment below. How about your ability to forgive? Or do you hold How grudges? is your ability to forgive or do you hold grudges? I'll be saying myself, I'm a type of a person like we can fight right now. And then <laughs> after 34 minutes, I'm going to be fine. Let me just process those things. The anger is going to go. And then the end of the day, uh, I'm going to be all right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Speak, I, I really like myself about that because I don't know who taught me this. Apparently my mama. But if I am wrong, I'm going to come to you and apologize. Some people see that as a weakness, as a sign of weakness. But I, I, I do agree. Sometimes I'm weak and I don't want to keep that weakness. That's why I'm coming to you straight away. Yo, man, we fought. Um, I don't understand. I was wrong. Uh, but I also think maybe you were wrong. If you don't hold your if you don't hold yourself accountability of your wrongness, it's okay. I'm gonna do it to mine. And at the end of the day, I'm not gonna hold grudges. You know, some some things are very hard to for to forgive or to forget, but I'm just going to bullshit it and then I'm going to move on because I can't be just staying there holding grudges. It's not going to help me. Have you dealt with your past relationship trauma? Or are you still holding grudges from six, seven relationships ago that you're bringing into your current relationship? Speaking of trauma, have you dealt with your childhood trauma? Child, do you hate all trauma? Um, I was talking with my girlfriend about this. I don't have like in a sort of a relationship way. I really don't have, but in the sort of like life way, I do have because I came from a country where like the war we were devastated by the war, and. And sometimes it's as if I see like a uh, like convoy of soldiers, uh, soldiers, helicopters, um, those things, they, they trigger my mind. And I keep on remember the situation that we had in 1996 in Congo. I mean, like that was like, <sighs> bro, man, I don't want to repeat that thing. I mean, I think that's a kind of trauma that I have. But in a relationship, no, no, not really. They play. All men because your dad was 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 messed up, or do you hate all women because your mom was messed up? Be, how about your ability to be accountable? Do you believe when in you this? Are wrong? Um, guys, this is kind of one of the most important things that we always um we always underestimate, and this is it. it it's about it is about how you grew up because most people come in a relationship. And they were not taught how to handle someone's behavior, situations. And those kind of situations, they kind of like uh, not helping you in your journey. They are not helping you uh, to grow as a person with another person, to grow as a person with your partner. You know, so many people were born where they're, they're in the families where they were no love. So many people were born in families where they don't know how uh, to handle handle some certain situations and then you just stay somebody and then you understand like they, they, they're not going to be there for you i mean to counseling you like to be i mean emotionally physically mentally they're not going to be there all they do care is like patting um shopping 
and I mean like money situations like that. I mean, so uh, it's not really uh, sometimes our fault, but it depends on how we grew up because that was like our parent duties and they did not fulfill the, those duties. And then now in our journeys, uh, in our relationship, we kind of struggle. I mean, this is very sad because a lot of people are really like that. They didn't grow with love. And this is really effective in a bad way because it's killing our relationships. And then we just keep on blaming each other for no reason. Oh, you are wrong. You are right. No, it's because of those things. And that's the reason why I tried to play this video because it's kind of helpful. Do you have the ability to say, I'm sorry? And then do you have the ability to change the behavior that caused the pain? How about your ability to love a person in their love language and not what you think it should be? How about your trust issues? Have you been able to deal with those? What about your anger management? What happens when you do get triggered? What happens to, when you do get angry? Is it <laughs> WWE? What about when you get, you get triggered? Are you, I mean, you become a rumble in a jungle or what? <laughs> Man. All these things we got to learn in a relationship. You got to learn how to be patient. You got to learn how to cooperate, how to collaborate. I mean, relationship is our like it's like it's the key to our success. Because if you don't have any good relationship with your friends, your partner, your bosses, your colleagues, I mean, it's very hard for you. I mean, you just got to be a good person, you know? You just have to be kind. I mean, kindness doesn't mean like you are weak. You know, kindness is the kind of thing that's going to open door for you. I mean, kindness is that thing that is going to elevate you, is going to lift you up. When you are kind, even the entire universe is going to be kind to you, you know? So forgive, forget, move on. Don't fight. Don't chat back. Don't be a person of anger, anger issue. Intel, uh, emotional intelligence is kind of that thing like everybody should learn and learn how to control it. Do not be a kind of person like I've heard so many people be like, I'm a short tempered person. And I'm like, bro, <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself to say that in public. Really. We're trying to control that thing, not to be proud of that thing. Yeah. off the top ropes do you justify your negative behaviors do you make excuses for your shortcomings do you have the ability to repair relationships when you cause damage how's your ability to handle truth about you how's your ability to handle constructive criticism how's your boundaries how is your ability you to handle truth about yourself when they're telling you about your your self-truth uh how do you handle that situation because i see a lot of people then we i mean truth always hurts but it's the truth you can't you cannot deny it constructive criticism i mean there's two types of criticism constructive criticism and the other criticism, just like people, they don't like you. But we should be focusing more on uh, constructive criticism. I read this quote before that says, it takes both rain and the sun for a flower to grow. If you don't accept that you're going to have to pass through the, uh, the worst to get to the best, and then I don't understand why do you want to get to the best first. You know, you're going to have to go through darkness get to light you know so if you don't believe in a constructive criticism i don't think you allow yourself to grow i don't think you allow yourself to glow and i don't think you allow yourself to shine because it's just gonna be there you know in a relationship in everything it's just going to be there so constructive criticism is very critical and you got to handle it properly yeah aware of micro cheating emotional cheating physical cheating. i've been researching about micro cheating um emotional cheating and physical cheating uh micro cheating is like kind of flirting and uh 
uh, talking to people on social media, uh, you're trying to interact with so many people as you can while you are in a relationship, which is very bad. You can't do that. Uh, emotional cheating is like you're getting intense with other people while you have your partner. It's like you get to the point where you're trying to cheat, like, like really physically, but you are not cheating because you'll be like, oh, wait, I have a partner. So if I was about to have an affair with you, this is going to affect my relationship. So I can't do that. But I'm going to tell you something. You cannot allow yourself to get to that situation. Everything you do in your life, you allow those things to happen. And to get to the point where you are like um, you are being emotionally cheating with someone else while you have a partner, I don't believe that is a good idea. It's like you're just already cheating, you know. You're already cheating. And physical cheating, everybody knows. I mean, these things are not allowed in a relationship. I mean, you shouldn't be doing those in a relationship because they are just going to end your relationship. That's it. It's easy. All right. Have you done any of those? Is that your go-to when things go wrong? If you haven't become aware of and dealt with those things that I talked about, you might not be ready. I'm just saying. Quick okay. question. I mean, that's it for this video. Uh, had about 1.2 million. If I read a comment here, you're gonna understand that so many people are not ready to date. This comment got one, uh, 1525 likes. When I thought I was ready, but now I see still I have some more work to do. Okay, she thought she was ready, but to be honest. You think you're going to be working on yourself, but without someone, you're not going to be working on yourself because you need to have somebody who's going to bring that pressure on you. And then that's how you're going to learn how to control your uh, your your pressure, your emotion, uh, your character, how you're going to be reacting and all those kind of things. I made a promise to myself that I will never yell at my woman out of anger. Love your spouse as you love Christ. A calm man is a powerful man. I do believe that. Uh, I wish you keep your, your promise. On point, communication is the key. Communicating in a proper way is the key. The man I'm in a relationship with is helping me through almost all your questions. I'm in therapy now. Amazing. These questions are, impo- are so important and makes people think before wanting that relationship. That's exactly it. So... That's exactly uh, what uh, I've been like talking uh, today, this relationship video. You, if you've been in a relationship that, that has too much trouble, too much drama, I mean, you don't have to allow that. You don't have to quit a relationship trying to make somebody understand that you, you'll be there for them. You, I mean, you can do some, you can do something better for them, so, uh, for them and see how it's going to help you. Because this thing about quitting relationship because of someone's behavior, it might be your behavior that's uh, wrong, and you go to another relationship, you're going to face the same problem. So let me know what do you think in the comment below. And once again, uh, Riverside is a dope platform, like it's a dope, it's a dope software to do some podcasting. I'm just like doing it today. And I'm loving it so much. I've been struggling with some other people. Um, but now I really, really love uh, Riverside so much. And in, it, it, it is great. So if you are watching this, if you're listening to this on Spotify, please hit the button, subscribe on the link below. Uh, it's going to direct you straight to our podcast on YouTube. And if you're watching on YouTube, from YouTube, please hit the button uh, subscribe. If you have subscribed, please hit the button, activate notification so you cannot miss one of our episodes every single day that we upload. And that's it for me for today. And I'm going to tell you uh, peace. I will see you. I will see you soon, actually. (laughs) Yeah, I will see you soon. All right. Cheerio.